Julia, you have a very different uh, perspective on data and, uh, and information from both sides of your life, uh, the research side as well as your new venture spot. Uh, I recently co-founded a startup called Spot, which is an automated cognitive interview. Now, the cognitive interview is best practices in memory interviewing. There's been over 20 years of research on this scripted, which is really great for a chatbot, scripted <laughs> technique being the best possible way to reliably extract accurate information about important emotional events. Now, what we've done is we've automated that and we've made it an interactive chat. And it's not just about automating a process, it's about making it better, because humans are really bad at sticking to scripts. Humans also have a lot of biases and assumptions. They might judge whether they think you're telling the truth, whether what you're saying is accurate. A bot is just there to record what you're saying and it has as much time as you need. And so the bot, in this case, we created to help people record and report workplace harassment. Something emotional and negative happens at work, where do you go? You can go to talktospot.com. It walks you through best practices of memory interviewing, and it turns your memory into evidence. It turns your memory into something tangible and shareable, into a PDF that has recorded all the important details that you can then, whenever you're ready, share with your employer. And your employer can also do more with that. And there's one little piece I wanted you to reference. So at Spot, mm -hmm. one, one of the things I remember you saying is you don't actually store a copy of the, 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 the memory that they've captured through your scripted process. Right. So uh, correct. So this cognitive interview bot, the approach that we're taking, partly because the information that we're collecting is incredibly sensitive. Of now, that's true for a lot of companies. It's more true for some than others. But all we're collecting is sensitive data. Um, now, in that sense, both in terms of a risk for us and a risk to the individual who's using it, our approach is to essentially store nothing. So if you have a chat with our bot, we don't store the data. We can see your flow of questions, so when you've stopped using or answering questions, but we can't see what you've responded. We don't keep PDF copies. If you lose your password to your encrypted file, we don't have it. Now, there's issues in terms of how happy users are with that, <laughs> but it's, I think, the only way to really resolve it is that if we get hacked, you're not going to find anything. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.